Infections in buttonhole tracts are almost always caused by a. Improper scab removal b. Poor skin preparation c. Incorrect cannulation technique d. Contaminated hands When using a slide board to transfer a patient from the dialysis chair to a wheelchair, at what angle should the slide board be placed between the two sitting surfaces, a 30 degrees, b 45 degrees, c 60 degrees, d 90 degrees? Substances that form ions are a hormones, b electrolytes, c enzymes, d amino acids. A patient has a right internal jugular central venous catheter for hemodialysis, but a pressure alarm sounds during treatment indicating that the blood flow rate is lower than prescribed. On checking, the technician finds that the lines appear clear and there are no signs of kinking, bleeding, or air entering the system. The next intervention should be to a. Stop dialysis. B. Lower the patient's head and ask the patient to cough. C. Flush the central venous catheter with normal saline. D. Reverse the arterial and venous lines. When the technician is teaching a patient to self-cannulate using the tandem hand technique, the patient observes and then carries out the procedure on a prosthetic training arm, B. Technician places the first needle, and the patient places the second, C. Technician places the thumb and finger behind the patient's thumb and finger, D. Patient places the thumb and finger behind the technician's thumb and finger. If a dialysis patient is very large in both stature and weight, which of the following is most likely to improve the effectiveness of hemodialysis? A. Increase salt restriction. B. Decrease treatment time. C. Increase dialyzer size. D. Change to peritoneal dialysis. What percentage of the water that is filtered out of the blood by the glomeruli is excreted as urine? 0.5%, B 1%, C 10%, D 99%. The mass transfer coefficient of a dialyzer refers to A. The size of the solutes that pass through the dialyzer membrane, B. How well solutes pass through the dialyzer membrane, C. The volume of water that will be removed during dialysis, D. The volume of blood that passes through the dialyzer. Which of the following is correct regarding a fistula? A. Usually created in the leg, near the ankle. B. Usually created in the forearm, near the wrist. C. Are made of salistic tubing. D. None of the above. About what percentage of body water is in the intravascular space? A. 1%, B. 10%, C. 20%, D. 70%. Blood leak detectors are extremely sensitive and can determine A. Blood type, B. Amount of blood loss, C. Blood leakage immediately, D. Serum potassium levels. Choose the correct statement regarding serum abnormalities in renal failure. A. Creatinine, BUN, and phosphorus are elevated. B. Creatinine, BUN, creatinine, BUN, and phosphorus are depressed. C. Calcium and bicarbonate are elevated. D. Calcium and bicarbonate are depressed. A dialysis machine is set up to use 36.1x parts dialysate. 
If the concentrate proportioning ratio calls for 1.00 part acid and 1.10 parts bicarbonate, how many parts of water are needed? A. 36.1 B. 34.0 C. 31.9 D. 33.0 What lab values are monitored for assessing bone disease? A. Calcium, phosphorus, and PTH. B. Calcium, phosphorus, and albumin. C. Calcium, phosphorus, and potassium. D. Calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium. If a patient comes for hemodialysis treatment but weighs less than the target dry weight before treatment, the technician should a. Continue with the dialysis treatment. B. Notify the nurse and dietitian. C. Advise the patient to eat more. D. Slow the ultrafiltration rate. If a new patient starts with a very high BUN, dialysis is purposely made less efficient to prevent. A. Rapid decrease in HCT. B. Dialysis disequilibrium syndrome. C. Cardiac arrhythmia. D. Excessive coagulation. Which is the most common cause of chronic kidney failure in the U.S.? A. Diabetes. B. Hypertension. C. Polycystic kidney smaller molecular disease. D. Glomerulonephritis. The first step in treating malnutrition in a dialysis patient is usually to a. Encourage the patient to eat more, b. Provide various dietary supplements, c. Provide intradialytic parenteral nutrition, d. Provide total parenteral nutrition. Because of increasing phosphorus levels, a patient has been prescribed a phosphate binder, but the patient is unsure when to take the medication. The best advice is to take the medication. A. Before meals. B. With meals. C. After meals. D. Before bedtime. If a patient is concerned about loss of income because of the need for hemodialysis, the best person to speak to the patient about this concern is the A. Nephrologist B. Nurse C. Occupational Therapist D. Social Worker Pass the CCHT exam Certified Clinical Hemodialysis Technician A certified clinical hemodialysis technician plays a vital role in the care and treatment of patients with chronic kidney disease. They are highly skilled professionals who are trained to operate and maintain dialysis machines, monitor patients' vitals during treatment, and ensure proper infection control protocols are followed. While their main focus is on providing hemodialysis treatment, CCHTs also serve as a source of emotional support for patients who often spend several hours undergoing dialysis. The path to becoming a certified clinical hemodialysis technician is one that opens up remarkable opportunities for individuals passionate about providing life-saving care to patients with kidney failure. The CCHT certification not only validates the knowledge and skills of technicians but also demonstrates their commitment to maintaining the highest standards of patient care.